come on out and show your face. Uh, well, if you guys can tell, I'm doing shit now. Uh, no, it's all cold. Holy shit. Holy shit, where have you guys been? We've been waiting for months for you guys. Actually, we have some explaining to do. So, a couple videos ago, a few videos ago, when we were showing you that potential shop, but we delayed it and said that there is another one that we were gonna look into or another opportunity, we we're finally able to capitalize on that, as well as a few other things. So on top of that, we moved into a new house. Um, our Rottweiler PD passed away from cancer, but he did live a full Rottweiler life though. Yeah, so he was right at the top of his age, so he made it all the way and didn't really have much pain, so it worked out perfect. Yeah. Um, on top of all that, we got two new puppies with our new house all at the same time, because we're crazy. Bad idea. What else? Mm -hmm. We've been working really hard on our apparel, as you can see. Oh, <laughs> uh, some designs you might see coming up maybe hope you guys like these so far and we're hoping to launch our website in the next couple weeks yeah hopefully within the next week or two we'll go live but we'll keep you guys posted on that with our social media facebook instagram pages uh, and of course here on youtube since we should be posting more often now that we got everything set up so yep and in the next few days we'll be doing little sneak peeks with our apparel, um, our accessories coming up. So watch out for that. What else? Oh, we've been doing a lot of photo shoots for this, for the apparel, for the website, uh, working with printing just so we can get good inventory set up for you guys. Um, and of mm. course we've been setting up the new shop. Oh yeah. So this video is basically our new shop reveal. So we're gonna go over that here in a few minutes, but we wanted to kind of catch you up, get you up to speed with where we're at now and what we've been doing. Oh, and Ruby is still gone. If you've been following our social media, you've, we've posted a few pictures so you could at least see what's going on with Ruby, but she's also gone. Again. Again, so she's getting more stuff. So. Amanda will do a reveal video on her once we fully have her back. Uh, hopefully this week, but we'll see. If not, we'll reveal her at Toyota Fest. Yes, <laughs> if anybody's going to Toyota Fest, that's the end of this month. So June 1st or June 2nd? One of the days that weekend. So the end of this month, we're gonna head down Thursday. I think that's like May 31st and we'll get there Thursday night play around Friday and I think Saturday is Toyota Fest uh, on Long, in Long Beach. So if you're in Long Beach, come say hi. Uh, we'll hopefully have a booth set up. We're trying to work out all the vendor details, but um, if you don't see Ruby here or on our social media, you'll see her in Long Beach. So do you guys want to take a look at our garage? Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Supra. So if you couldn't tell, that's the flag that's in the front of our house. We like to sport the Supra fam. Yep. Oh, right out here today. But let's take you back to the shop. So we told you guys we bought a house. This is just a short reveal of our house. But we only care about the garage, right? Yeah, we just care about the garage. Here's the front of the house, at least. Uh, new house. And we get three parking spots in the garage, so the truck finally gets a home. The truck has never been in a garage before. Okay, this is the front of the garage. Ta-da! And I get a basketball hoop. I've never had a basketball hoop. Super stoked about that. Kind of an upgrade from our last house. But this is the shop portion. And Amanda's gonna tell you more about this, which is gonna be the We Ride Lounge. And look, our trailer fits too. 
which if you can see, probably can't, it's up on jack stands. So we're getting all those tires and wheels replaced and leaf springs because we'll have to show you later, but the previous owner did some shoddy shit welding that back together. So here are our pooches. New shop dogs. Our pit bull Roman. Hi. Oh. And then our husky Draco. And you guys know Bruce Wayne. Brucey boy. So we called Draco Puff because he's just a puff, big puff of fur. And then we don't know what we call Roman yet. Meathead or pig because he snorts a lot. <laughs> so you might hear us calling them Puff and Pig. Delicious. Okay, you guys ready? Welcome to the We Ride Lounge. For right now, it's pretty empty, but... We have lots of plans for this area. Probably gonna have a few couches, chairs, tables, just to make it a cool hangout for everyone. And well, tell my wife. Huh? About our pinching press that we bought? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we're also working on getting our own printing press so we can do everything in-house. And once we get that, we'll have it in here as well. That way when you guys order stuff, you don't have to wait if we're out of stock for us to order it or outsource it third party. We can just print order and get it shipped same day, hopefully. We're, we're seeing what's all involved to get that set up and, and make this a smooth process. Yep, so the rest of the lounge, we have a little kitchen here. Microwave. Oh. We have dogs trying to break in. Yep. And then to make it an official man cave, you'll have to check this out. A urinal. A urinal. <laughs> that is a must for a shop, right? 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 I don't know if she agrees, <laughs> but... But we figure, what, over there in the corner? Have a nice little sectional lounge. Little table to eat here. We got this TV for sale at Walmart. Aww. Holy shit. It was like 300 bucks. It was on clearance. It's a 65 inch 1080p, so HD TV, smart TV too, for 300 bucks. Yep, yeah, so steal. put it in the lounge. All right. She had to prep the reveal by closing the door. So this part is where all the fun, fun all the action is going to be. So we have the lounge here and then the shop on the other side. It's beautiful. We got the drift car already. We got Panda showing off the air compressor. New wheels and tires for the trailer. But we have a nice big lift. We have all our tools in the back. Everything for the most part is pretty much set up. We of course need to get like tables and tool organizers. Uh, we have the, the welders over there so we can start fabricating stuff. We're both gonna be welding and fabricating. Yep. In our next video, you'll meet our welder friend, Chris. He'll be hanging out with us a lot. Yeah, he's gonna help us uh, tear apart the drift car as well as teach us how to weld some things to see if we wanna tackle all the welding on the drift car. Uh, might not be safe, but we could at least play around. Uh... I think that's it. That's why we've been gone for the past few months. We've been busy. Yes. 
we're sorry, but we should be ready to hit the ground running for you guys yep. with both the apparel, our website launch, doing projects. Uh, I think we're going to start tearing the drift car tomorrow, tearing apart the drift car tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. And then we still need to reveal Ruby for you guys. So once we have her back, we'll yeah. do a nice little uh, snippet on everything that we're doing with her. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video today. And it feels good to be back. We're back, baby! <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow to work on the drift car. Well, it'll be tomorrow for us. But for you guys, it'll be a few days later. Right. And don't forget, together, we ride. Mm. We will see you tomorrow.